There are many cases from highway patrol and state police files that are still under investigation, what we call an open case. Our next story is about one of these cases. It starts when Colorado State Patrol Trooper Thomas Carpenter stops to help two men who seem to need it. Colorado State Patrol Trooper Thomas Carpenter and his wife Phyllis are having their family over for holiday dinner tonight. Phyllis is leaving church services early to help her mother with preparations. Dad, when are we going to get the presents? It's not even Christmas Day. Santa Claus hasn't even come yet. Maybe when you wake up in the morning, you'll be surprised. Yeah! <laughs> Not much is known about these two men, except that they are car thieves. Just get us some Denver. I can score some cash there. I hope so. Well, I tell you, I better get going to work or I'm going to be late, okay? As his son gets ready for his paper route, Trooper Carpenter is getting ready to go to work after having the Christmas holidays off. Carpenter, an ex-Marine, has been with the patrol for nearly six years. This is a heck of a place there, I guess. I tell you what, I want to chop my stock car and I'll bring you down the gas station and get you some gas. Okay, okay, we'll be right back, okay? Come on, man, let's go. That's my car stolen, man. We won't, we won't let him. That's all. When the men start whispering to each other, Carpenter becomes suspicious. Hey, is there a problem? Uh, yeah, we don't have enough money for gas. Oh, I can loan you a couple dollars. Hey, why don't you get back in the vehicle? Grease. Hey. Right there, stay still. Oh. All right? Okay. Keep your hands down. Let him go. Let him go. Okay. Walk nice and slow. Nice and slow. Get in the car. Get in the car! No. Okay. Things under control. Things gonna go wrong, right, officer? Correct. Okay. As a signal, Carpenter takes off his hat, which is against departmental policy. He wants to call attention to himself, hoping to be seen by another trooper who would know something's wrong. Wait for him. Wait for him. Good. Okay. I'll go. Go. A Denver policeman sees Trooper Carpenter without his hat. But since they don't wear hats themselves, he thinks nothing is wrong and has no idea that Carpenter's been abducted. Man, that was too close. That was close to a place of double. And what? And we can't drive this thing. We're just gonna drive around at 91 Denver. That's me. Okay, we'll answer it. But no cop stop or secret codes or I swear I will blow your head off. Denver, 181. 181. What's your money? We have an accident. The dispatcher is listening to so many patrol cars that he doesn't realize Trooper Carpenter is out of his normal patrol area. A Colorado trooper taken at gunpoint when we come back. A pair okay, of right. thieves kidnap a Colorado state trooper and hold him at gunpoint. I know you're getting nervous, man. Just calm down. We gotta get out of this area and then we can dump it. Desperate to get himself out of the situation and with his life in jeopardy, Carpenter makes a move. Right! 
Trooper Thomas Carpenter is killed instantly. You know, the, the loss of, of Tom Carpenter affected not only us, the patrol family and his friends, you know, it devastated his family as well. You know, a young wife and small children, uh, to have a husband taken away uh, in such a, such a tragic uh, manner. I think we all live with the fear of you know, something happened to us in traffic, but to be shot down on the street, to be murdered, uh, executed, as you will, uh, just added even more emphasis to it. I mean, these people were not fleeing for their life or shooting in, in a moment of anger. They cold-bloodedly executed this officer who had stopped to help them. When we responded to the location, uh, footprints were found. There were some physical evidence found at the scene, unfortunately none of which uh, actually identified the perpetrators of the particular crime. Three witnesses saw the people at the time that Tom was taken captive, not realizing that he was being taken a prisoner. And all of them have said there were two people in the patrol car. The best clue we had was Tom Carver's uh, service weapon, which was recovered in New Mexico. Evidently, they had dropped it in the trash uh, some several days after the murder had taken place. To lose a classmate, uh, to lose him in an area that I patrol, uh, uh, was pretty devastating. Uh, you were mad. You wanted to, to be able to reach out and, and get whoever did this. And the fact that it's never been solved is, means it's still just an open wound with all of us. My husband uh, was a very good law enforcement officer, but more importantly, he was a wonderful husband and wonderful father and friend, and uh, so what I miss is the person that he was. The killing of Colorado State Patrol Trooper Thomas Carpenter is a case still open and under investigation. If you have any information relating to this cold-blooded murder, please call the Colorado State Patrol at 303-239-4501 or your own state police or highway patrol.